Namaste, this is Mekla here from Pujas Dotin. Uh, in today's video, I'd like to share with you my personal experience in astrology. Uh, along with that science, you also need a bit of intuition. So, which is why I would always say that astrologers should meditate. Astrologers should touch base with the Vedas and the Upanishads. Astrologers should have an Atma Guru so that they can seek divine guidance from them. And you know, once this happens, they become more and more mature. And when they become mature, what happens is intuition flows. So you don't look at a chart and say, oh, 7th house Rahu, disturbance in marriage, Rahu in Lagna, okay, uh, this person is always moving around, oh, Shani Dasha, trials and tribulations, it doesn't work like that. You know, what you need is a lot of intuition and the journey is a continuous journey because every day you read charts, every day you go through a people's uh, lives in a different way. So your problem is different than mine and my problem may not be your problem and my uh, problem may be your advantage. It's like that, no, the world is like that. So you have to, um, you know, you have to be very, very um, aware but not in a, with your mind, with your heart and with your intuition and intuition comes from here. So that's what my guru says. So you just do your sadhana. They have to do their own anushtana. They have to do sadhana. And astrologers have to be selfless. They should not look at a client and say, I am here to make money from this person. I am here to take advantage from this person because he is in problem and he's desperate. Never do that. You know why I'm saying this? I know there are so many senior astrologers on youtube in this world so wonderfully they are actually reaching out to people but you know that's not it you know you have to be sensitive to what your client needs and that is the starting point and you know the soul satisfaction you get when the person is happy and they would send messages like Thank you so much for being with me in my tough times, in my hard times. You know, you become friends for life. So that is an earning according to me. And that is what I have earned uh, through this profession, which even I know PR is so limited again. I feel like, you know, it's the same job which we do. You know, this is something that I felt even which the job satisfaction is like, nothing but soul satisfaction and i have not experienced this in anything else the only spirituality can give you this kind of a soul satisfaction because it's directly connected to your spirit and if we limit ourselves with um, you know only astrology astrology what happens is we can't reach out to people through our intuitive prompts i'll give you one example of what happened very recently so i have a friend called Anurag and he was uh, he referred some of his friends to me in this uh, whole phase um, you know one of his friends who reached out to me uh, he didn't give me any of his details he didn't tell me what his problem is nothing he just gave his date time and place of birth and he said you look at my chart and tell me so I looked at his chart and I, I you know whatever was there based on the science aspect of astrology I mentioned but there were also a few things which I really wanted to tell. Like, for example, that he would have a heart problem. But uh, I really thought and thought and thought. I said, no, let me not scare this person. Because, you know, what happens is when, the, when you see a few things which are negative and you want to talk about it, even if it's a negative thing on finance, it's fine. But, you know, sometimes too much negative on health ma matters can disturb the person in case that health problem has not yet occurred. So, uh, it was at the tip of my tongue that I wanted to really say that, you know, he may end up with a heart problem or something like that and uh, related to heart, but I didn't tell. I just controlled myself. I said, no, 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 let me just see. So, that was an intuitive prompt from me, from, from, from my soul about him, which I didn't mention. Okay, that's one thing. So, the next thing that was done was, he said he also, want, after his predictions, he, I think he was fairly satisfied. Uh, he said, okay, let me now uh, uh, get my wife's uh, horoscope read. So then he got that done. So in well, while I was reading her chart, I got very strong intuition, very, very strong intuition that, you know, uh, this lady my, might be an entrepreneur and she may be a very good businesswoman managing something on her own. 
but you know i ignored it for some reason something told me no uh, you know maybe i should not talk about it because the planetary positions don't indicate or support that you know so what i'm trying to say is sometimes the planets may not really show you that but you may actually ha- have something in store for them which may surprise them so uh, i was like oh my god i'm so strongly feeling i didn't tell her tell him okay so i gave the prediction and he said you know you missed out on one very big thing that you know she is an entrepreneur she is managing her own business and you didn't mention that okay so then i said oh my god i really had this at the tip of my tongue and i just you know i don't know what stopped me so which is why and then i discussed with my guru and he said you know that is why you should have uh continuous sadhana is very important that you know then you develop faith in your own sadhana in your own intuition and you get the guts to tell them although your the chart doesn't indicate that's very important see if the chart indicates 100% we will tell but the thing is the chart doesn't indicate and still you have to tell something that that is coming from intuition you need to believe that intuition that is why astrologers have to do a lot of sadhana and you know i have been doing continuous sadhana but you know there's no end to this it is like an ongoing thing till the breath is the sadhana is going to be there so that is uh, another tip that i want to give the um, you know share with other astro- aspiring astrologers okay then uh, what else happened is that uh, you know uh, why intuition is so important is because in that same lady's chart she was going through a rogadipati dasha so uh, and shashtadipati so lot of enemies and health problems and all are very much very much evident in the chart but when he spoke to me the husband he said she doesn't have health problems not i mean not to the degree that i highlighted uh, although i mentioned that she would have some problem with the uterus and things like that which tallied naturally tallied because it was there in the chart and i uh, i could see through so i just mentioned that and he said yeah that's fine she had a surgery and all that but not like the problem you are highlighting so in fact she is very healthy and hearty and things like that now how does that tally see one thing is either the chart is wrong but that's very easy for any astrologer to say the second thing is is also god's grace many times they will be do, the clients will be performing very very good karma so when they perform excellent karma the very dharmic people they help others and things like that even though they are supposed to experience a fall from the mountain they may just fall off their chair that's all and not experience um any major problem so a major problem may end up like a small minuscule problem so which is why they will not have uh, i mean they may not have suffered another thing here is that if they have a spiritual background if they are very dharmic and have spiritual background then they may even ignore the problem so what seems like a problem may actually not be a problem so then what happens is you just um, you know even though i say oh my god you must have suffered a lot you will say no what is suffering so if they are a very mentally balanced kind of a person they will say why is she trying to scare me you know you know i'm i'm fine so like that so which is why i'm saying that intuition and god's grace are intuition god's grace both are extremely important for predictions and more than anything else time and again consulting the guru connecting to the guru is also very important for any astrologer so this video is mainly for uh, people who are aspiring astrologers i feel that you should just watch this video and you know absorb and get as many insights as possible um uh, don't think astrology is just a money making thing please don't because it's a very sacred science and this sacred science can really give you that soul satisfaction and it can actually make a person whom you're consulting and whom you're actually helping out uh, get out of problems and when you know when they get out of problems they really bless you and they really wish well that is much more than the money you earn that is much more than the money you earn so you charge no don't uh, don't say no do it free and all that they won't value your service so you should also value your time and your, the skill which god has given you so you charge but don't ever don't ever just look at them as okay cash cow 
okay exploit don't you know just avoid all these kind of thoughts have a very very clear cut mind and a very spiritual background spiritual background is not about how you dress you wear this you wear that no no you do all that when you have to do it you do it when you want to be like that you be like that but what is spiritual is how your heart is how your mind is how your intention is how your speech is my guru says nade nodi nota three things in kannada so nade is how we walk the path of life nodi is how we speak nota is our perception all these three things are very important for an astrologer so uh, this question actually came to me from a person who is learning astrology and uh, who wants to know how life is of an astrologer and how how it is like you know whether you know as you know he asked me wait did you want to be an astrologer from the beginning or you know yeah, it just happened that way so how is your life uh, as an astrologer and things like that so i how is my life as an astrologer maybe i'll do another video uh, but this is like an ongoing learning uh, you know so far from my childhood till now what exactly has happened is what i'm saying so uh, what started off as a satsang group actually evolved to become an astrology group i would say evolved because first we said okay let us first fill the stomachs of people how do you fill the stomach solve the help them solve their problem basically that is what i meant meet that need then you do the spiritual part so which is what i do so when you know they come to me with a problem i tell them later when they have some other issues i don't tell them do this puja do that puja oh you are facing this disturbance because of dasha and all i don't tell them i give them spiritual knowledge what i learn from my guru so that you know they become mentally strong so for example um, you know a very a very dear client of mine called aparna she is from uh, mumbai okay so she she's been with me for a long time i can say and uh, with her all good and bad times i've been with her so um, that's what she says at least okay so she said that she had some disturbance with her brother and she's very upset and you know why is this happening is he behaving because of rahu dasha how do i you know said this right i'm really missing him and things like that so i t- uh, just told her uh, too much attachment is bad attachment is the root cause of misery you know it's very easy for me to say yeah it's because of the rahu transit he's behaving weird get a rahu puja done or things like you know oh your dasha is like this shani is with ketu now in dhanu rashi that is why your nakshatra is so and so we are you're getting impacted you know it's all that is fine i am saying till a point later on we have to build our own immunity and that immunity doesn't come from astrology it comes from maturity spiritual maturity that you will gain from spirituality only from life also so uh, you know otherwise just imagine being an astrologer i know my dashas i know what transits are favorable for me and not and you know every day is different i know this oh today sampatara very good i learn lot of money oh today vipatara you i have lot of problems so can you imagine on the bad days of the month or of the year i'll be psyched if i take it in a very um, very seriously initially it happened to me also then i evolved i would say oh my god ashram shani is starting and i i got typhoid when i got ashram shani because that's when i was a budding astrologer and i would be like oh my god and you know i got really terrified what shani is going to do to me and things like that and then my experiences i noted okay 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 this is how it is and things like that then i spoke to my guru i said please help me out i'm really really uh in distress and you know i am psyched about my own future then he would say don't worry you know there is some at some point you have to cut off and you have to start surrendering it's good to know but then not be obsessed with it so that's when i you know i just said okay 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 i need to be really strong and you know uh, i should not take it too seriously upon myself i should just use it as pointer to go forward should i go now should i wait should i slow down should i move fast that's all you need to know from astrology how i how should i move in my life now which direction at what speed which road to take with whom should i go basically with whom should i go so these are the things you should know with whom should i go what direction should i go what road should i go at what speed should i go so these driving things if you know then it's good should you drive or take the chauffeur should you go by a public transport you know like this you should be very specifically no 
and just follow and relax and surrender i think you know uh, this video is quite long you know i'll just you know pause here for today and you know maybe in my next video i'll just open out and share much more experiences of uh, you know share my experiences with my clients with myself with my life with my family and things like that and see and uh, and tell you you know how this journey of life has been because i think uh there are many things that you will learn just by you know listening to the journey but um you know one concluding note with this video i want to tell you is never have strong opinions because if you have strong opinions god will make you bend to that opinion and finally do it like how i never wanted my father to go to an astrologer and i ended up being an astrologer so that's how life is you know it teaches you it's good to have opinions but don't have very rigid opinions and don't judge and gauge anybody not even an astrologer nor a person who's suffering nor a person who's happy everybody has gone through their own life their own learning in their own way i think with this um, i'll conclude on today's video see you soon with the next one namaste <laughs>